Harry Johnny Williams, the latest victim of dictator Paul Kagame. Hi, my name is Emma K. I am the author of The Terrible Truth About the Truth, a story of a Tutsi Rwandan genocide survivor when home doesn't feel like home and when abroad feels far from home. Where can I start? What can I say? Maybe let me start with the statement of Dr. Christopher Kayumba before his imprisonment, right after he had formed a political party that he called Rwanda's Platform for Democracy, RPD. And Kayumba said, by launching RPD, we knew we could face jail or worse. Together with others, we decided that instead of living in fear, it was better to speak up and face the consequences. It didn't take long and Kayumba was put in prison. And so was the freedom fighter Idamanje. And so was the YouTuber Karasira. And so was Theonest Sengimana. And so was the voice of the voiceless Chuma Hassan. And so was the fearless Rashidi and so were many others. Persecuted Rwandans were worried as there was no one left to advocate for them. And then in Harry John Williams came as a rescuer. Through his newspaper, Chronicle, and Pax TV, the brave Nwari questioned the Rwandan democracy. He referenced the suspicious deaths of other victims of Paul Kagame, such as Dr. Fabien Twajiramungu, who had been murdered, and many other Rwandans, Hutus, as well as Tutsis, who had been reported jailed or killed. To dictator Paul Kagame, Kwari had crossed a famous red line. He was too dangerous to deserve the privilege of imprisonment. Kwari had to be killed, and he surely was. Gone missing for three days, his death was announced on January 19, 2023. And when Nwadi's family asked what killed Nwadi, the Rwandan police answered it was a motorcycle accident. But what they couldn't answer was why it took three days to call his family. Why Nwari's family was denied to bring Nwari's body home? Why they weren't allowed to clean the body and change Nwari's clothes? Why Nwari's family wasn't allowed to come close to the body? Why Rwandan police was so protective of Nwari's body? What were they hiding? And they couldn't give an answer when the world asked them. Why every Rwandan journalist and YouTuber who questions RPF has to die or go to prison? I hope when you listen to this sad and disturbing story of Nwari John Williams, you take a minute and promise yourself to never, ever take anything for granted. And I hope when you read the terrible truth about the truth, you will understand why home didn't feel like home for me. See you next time.